What it do? T.O. represent BBK TV. Some of the hottest bulls out the Triple D. You don't work, you don't sleep, you don't grind, you don't shine. And I promise you, I got some of the hottest bulls you ever seen with your two eyes. Today is a beautiful day, man. Happy Sunday. Late video. A little tired. Had to give me some exercise in. Uh, yesterday, we drove five hours. Tulsa, Oklahoma to a dog show. Bully, uh, Puko exclusive Bully Challenge, I want to smoke. Uh, it was a good show, had fun. Shout out Ian, uh, shout out June, uh, who's a judge, the MC of the show. Uh, we had a blast. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say congratulations to my son, Bash Bando, man, for winning Best Junior Handler. Best Junior Handler, you know what I'm saying? And Bash, put my stuff down, I'm recording. Move, man, go sit down. For winning Best Junior Handler, and he won $250 cash. You know what I'm saying? Did his thing. The man, yes, sir. Young King up in the rising, man. So, y'all say congratulations to Bad Bando in the comments, y'all. Uh, my boy won, won big time. I'm very proud of him. He did his thing. He went out there and competed. It was comp tough competition. You know, he went out there and did his thing. I, I was very surprised. He showed OP. And OP don't even uh, really stack like that for nobody or nothing like that. She very, she got a very high uh, energy, very energetic. So for him to go out there and show her, we was all shocked. We was, uh, he had bragging rights from us, not j just from him showing her. Like, can't nobody show her in the house. So that was player. Um, then TPC, another best in show. TPC, another best in show, back to back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just going to let the number speak for itself, you know. I keep trying to tell y'all we got some of the hottest bulls out of Triple D. You know, we just going to have to back it up, you know, and walk that walk. And we've been doing it last two weeks. TPC done brought, brought, brought home best in show two weeks in a row, man. So I'm very proud of him. Uh, I'm, um, I am very excited to see his growth and his potential, where he's going to be. He's maturing very well. Uh, it's... It's lovely, man. Over here, we're growing, we're grinding, uh, we're putting in that work. Coco got uh, second place, best white. Uh, Sanaya got third place and best junior handler. Um, so, good job for her. Uh, she just fell short to her brother. Her brother won that thing, you know. Um, what else? We met some, uh, a lot of people out there at the show yesterday. Good networking. Met some people uh, who watched the channel as well. Uh, I really appreciate that, man. That that, that that meant a lot coming up me, uh, letting me know that, you know. Um, I, I don't even be expecting that. So when people come up and be like, hey, man, I watch your channel and stuff, it's really, you know, I, I really am grateful for that. You know, I really do appreciate it, guys. Like, real talk, man. Um, hopefully we can do some business in the future, bro. You know, you have some nice dogs. Hopefully we can get together, you know, and create some create some other nice dogs together, you know, just uh, get with me when you're ready, man. You got my number, my link up, you know. And I, I am, a, I'm a dog guy, y'all. So when y'all see me, I'm a dog guy, man. I'm all about dogs. Um, so if you see me in person, anything, don't be shy, come up, you know, you want to chop dogs, you want to introduce yourself. That's cool, man. I really appreciate that. Um, Cause I don't be expecting, you know, I don't really think people be watching my uh, channel like that. Like I really don't, I be thinking it's like, robots and fake people and shit because uh from when youtube talking about uh you had fake people subscribe to your channel and all that so i don't know man so when i see real people like come and say what's up to me in real life and shit like that you know i know it ain't trolls and i know it ain't fake people you know i know it's really somebody really watching me you know so i really appreciate that because it's a lot of people out here be paying for uh views and all that paying for subscribers a whole bunch you know so it's a lot of people out here got faker Fake, you know what I'm saying, subscribers, fake views, all that. So you just gotta be watching out for that. That's why I don't even be tripping on other people's numbers and all that, because you never know what's be going on. So for me, I I enjoy the fact that it's real people watching my channel. And when I'm out there interacting at other dog shows, out of state and stuff, people recognize me, you know what I'm saying, and come up to me and say, what's up? You know, I really, I really appreciate that. But um, I really got on here, man. TPC, another best in show. Uh, y'all better lock them in, man. Um, I got females coming up. I'm, huh? 
Yeah, yeah, because I'm I'm only got five spots for him, man. He only would be getting bread five times out my yard. Uh, 2K, 500 lock in. Uh, you can you can use him for 2K, but he only gonna have five five females bred outside my yard. So it's only five opportunities to use him at 2K, 500 to lock in. You you can uh, lock in his spot now with $500. I have a stud contract and everything. And then when your female comes in heat and is ready to breed, you pay the remaining balance, all right? You pay the remaining balance then once you're ready, your female comes in heat ready to breed. But you wanna send that $500 in now and lock in your spot so you don't have to worry about that spot being lost if you wanna use them. Cause once them five spots are filled, only way I'm opening him back up is if you're gonna have to pay extra, you know? So next time he get open back up, it's gonna be for a high price. I'm not gonna open him back up at the same price because I have a lot I'm gonna be doing with him. His puppy's gonna go for 5K and up. You know, he's gonna be a producer. Uh, I'm about to show y'all that. I got Cardi in heat now. You know, she just came in the heat. I got her first progesterone test done just to make sure. So I got, I got all that set in stone. I'm trying to get that on the right day when her numbers are right and she got the most eggs. She as fertile as can be. So I can get a nice litter out of that because I already know I want to keep females out of that so I can have two time TPC puppies when the time comes. I got to stay ahead of y'all on that. I don't want y'all having two time TPC puppies before me, you know? So I got to make sure that I'm on my grind. I'm able to do that before y'all are able to do that. And I got to stay ahead of the game. All right. So. When these puppies drop, I don't know how many puppies she have and what she having, but I'm not gonna sit here and say it's gonna be seven, eight puppies available. What's available is gonna be what's available. So your best bet, if you really want puppies, and you know, you got a bad female with Louis V blood or Dax blood, or Phenom blood, um, Samson blood, or we'll go Big Red blood. Um, you gotta have some some top quality blood. I don't, I'm not breeding TPC to no trash females. Um, Magoo blood, muscle tone blood, um, uh, Killinois kennels blood, um, you know, what's that, the cold country blood. Uh, you gotta have some type of blood that I know that produces and produces a certain look, uh, produce consistent look, gonna produce healthy dogs, nice girthy dogs. Cause what I'm not gonna do is put TPC out there to breed to other females, and he throw um, classic looking dogs, ugly dogs, because your female uh, pedigree and genetics uh, cannot match and, and hold what TPC is bringing to the table. All right, I'm not. I don't want him out there trying to do magic. I just want him to be able to produce beautiful dogs with top quality females. You know that compliment him. All right, so. Y'all come and lock them in, man, and come make y'all some beautiful bulls and, and be able to sell y'all dogs. I'm gonna help you sell them. You come breed the TPC. You come and get a, and, and help sell them on my platform. I'm gonna help promote your breeding, all that, all right? Um, now the stud feed don't come with the shipping. So if you need the shipping, uh, semen shipped, I mean, uh, the semen don't come with shipping. So you pay that 2K for that semen, once it time, to come to ship that semen. If you need that semen ship, you have to pay to get your semen ship. I'm not coming out of pocket to ship semen for you. The semen is $380 a ship. Or you can drive and do the breeding in person. I would rather you drive and do the breeding in person. That way we could do AIs or whatever. You know, if you wanna do surgicals, uh, we got vets, uh, a couple of vets that are here to do surgicals, we can get surgicals done. If you want to come down here, that's cool. I'm in Texas, you know. Um, if you want to pay and I drive somewhere and meet you, that's cool. We can do that too. But I'd rather you come, man, and come do the breathing in person. Be able to stay a couple of days. We can knock two AIs out. You know, we'll do one on one day, uh, wait two days, and do another AI. You know what I'm saying? You come down here and do the breathing in person, that's what I'm going to give you. But if you do, um, if you get your semen ship, it's 380. Um, you're going to have to. Let me know when your female, like you send that, that 500 to lock in that spot. Boom, the first day your female come in heat, you need to be hitting me up. Like, hey, my female is in heat today. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you, go get progesterone test done. If you're doing breedings with me, I'm gonna get you to go through the proper steps because I'm not, we're not gonna be guessing. I don't want no, 
he say, she say, oh, his dog ain't producing or nothing like that. When the first day your dog come in heat, you see the signs. I'm going to tell you, go get the progesterone test done at your local vet or whoever do your progesterone test. I want you to send me them numbers. All right. Then once we go from there, we'll go back in about six or seven days. You'll go back, get another progesterone test done. You know what I'm saying? And that day, that time, the vet or whoever doing the test, should, we, we can know from there in what day to breed, all right? Because when it's between the 8 and 15 on the numbers, you know, you're going to have about two days, 48 hours for your window for you to breed. So if you ship it, that's very important because, boom, once you hit that, that 8 to 15, and the, and the vet going to tell you, all right, you can breed in 48 hours, well, now you need to be hitting me up either that day or the next day the day before, you know what I'm saying? For that, if he say breeding 48 hours, you really need to be calling me then. You know what I'm saying? Once you get the results, but like, hey, he said breeding 48 hours. So I can let you know. I bet. I can I might be at work or might be having something to do, might be going to a dog show that day or taking the family somewhere. You never know. So you need to hit me up and let me know. Like, hey, my dog needs is ready to be bred in, in the next 48 hours. So then, okay, the next day. I will get the semen prepared, take it, you know what I'm saying? Go get it pulled, get it frozen or whatever, and get them, get it ready to get shipped out to you, all right? That way, on the 48th hour, that second day, the, that, that night, I, I ship that semen, right? So Wednesday, you get the numbers, and they say Friday, your dog can be bred. When you call me Wednesday, boom, I'm gonna get everything ready Thursday. I'm gonna ship the semen out Thursday, afternoon or whatever to you the, the latest time so we can get there i'm gonna ship the semen out thursday you get the semen friday and then friday you can do the breeding now if the vet say you got 48 hours and you bullshit and procrastinate don't call me wednesday don't call me thursday want to call uh call me thursday night at 10 p.m talking about hey we're gonna do the breeding tomorrow can you go and ship out the semen it's gonna be too fucking late you know what i'm saying the semen, semen not gonna get there till saturday and, and you might miss your window. You know, you might have a small litter. That'd be the difference between you having a big litter and you having a small litter. You missed that, that window when she had all them eggs and she could have had you a nice size litter, but you procrastinated and waited thinking to be okay. Now you're gonna end up having you a small litter. So if you shipping this semen, we going through the proper steps. You're not just gonna try to put all the blame on me. Now we gonna go through all the proper steps. We go through the proper steps if the dog don't take uh, or anything like that, we're gonna get you a repeat, repeat breeding, all right? So if your dog don't take, boom, you get a repeat breeding, all right? One re repeat if it don't take. The second time it don't take, we're gonna get your female checked or whatever, see what's up. Cause by then we should know TPC is already throwing. He already got a male and female on the ground. So we know he producing. So we can't say it's semen not working cause I already done produced with him. So we had to get your female check or see what's going on, all right? I also have semen uh, analysis going on, so I, yeah, I will, I will I keep his semen checked. You know what I'm saying? The more he get pulled, I will keep his semen checked to let make sure he still got swimmers. All right. Um, what else? Uh, um, yeah, your puppies. You know what I'm saying? Once you do the breeding with him, you know what I'm saying? We'll promote it. We'll get breeding banners. I'm gonna ask you to get professional pictures took. Don't come at me with cell phone pictures. All right. Get some nice professional pictures took of your dog on a nice little camera. You're going to send them over to me. We'll make some breeding banners. We'll start pushing and promoting. You know what I'm saying? Boom, we got this breeding coming up. All right? And we'll start promoting and, and getting people ready for the up for the upcoming litters that TPC is going to have so they could be prepared to buy puppies from y'all when y'all drop them. All right? Because everybody don't have a platform to sell puppies. You know what I'm saying? Like that, but you might have a nice female. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm here willing to help sell the puppies because if I approve the female, then I approve the puppies. That means I know it's going to be some badass puppies. I'm not going to breed him to a bullshit female knowing that they're not going to produce no good-ass puppies and I try to come on my platform and sell them because that's going to make me look bad and it make my stud look bad, all right? So everything we're going to do is going to be able to benefit you and benefit me and benefit TPC. It's going to benefit everybody, all right? That's what it's about, making sure everybody wins when you come over here and uh, use TPC as a stud, man. Um, I really want to work with y'all. I want to come out here and produce some dogs, but I'm not going to run him into the ground 
Uh, I'm trying to keep his blood exclusive, only for those who really truly believe in him. You know what I'm saying? Want that look? Cause I'm telling you, he gonna throw it. All right, he gonna throw that look. He gonna outproduce himself. I guarantee it. He got the blood to match. He got producer after producer in his pedigree. So he gonna produce. He was bred to produce. All right. That's why she did that breeding. She kept female off that breeding to produce. So when the breeders keeping dogs out of there, that's how you know you got some shit. You know what I'm saying? Produce. You know so. Y'all hop on her, y'all get on her, lock him in. Five spots at 2K. Lock him in. He just got best in show back to back. All right? He, he, he's maturing. He's looking real nice. You know what I'm saying? He's really looking like a bull, all right? So now's your time to lock him in, man, because after these, I got Cardi in heat. I got Mamas in heat. I'm about to breed him to both of them females. Once he throw, throw down with them, and then I got drip daughters coming in in the heat too next year. And then they are gonna run, be running to him. I'm not gonna really be opening up like that. Once the five spots is gone, the five spots is gone. You don't have to use him this year, the next couple months. You know what I'm saying? You got about a year or two. I'm gonna get probably get about two years, about about 48 months. You know what I'm saying on the user stud fee. So you ain't gotta use it next year. You can use it in two years. That's cool. You will be locked in at that 2K. So if you lock him in now, you know what I'm saying? Boom, them five spots going. And if I open him up next year at 4K, 5K, you still locked in at 2K. You lock it in at, and securing that spot at 2K, guys. You know, I, that's it for tonight. I just want to get on here, uh, chop it up with y'all, let y'all know what's up. I got to roll me up one so I can smoke. I got to go to work in the morning. But I appreciate y'all, man. Like, and comment, subscribing. Um, appreciate everybody. I really do. Thank y'all. Uh, but I'll see y'all on the next one because I'm tired. Dude.